morning guys yesterday when I came back home I um, cut my squares out uh, 25.4 centimeters 10 inches by 10 inches and one quarter is about five mil thick plate it took me about an hour to cut eight of those plates out because the metal plate very heavy plate it's not easy to move it and I use a big angle grinder and I don't like as big angle grinders because they slip very quickly if you don't cut in the same groove it, it just jumps out or it can break the blade so yeah it's not easy I'll show you guys now in a moment my little template I made uh, where I'm going to drill exactly the holes and where my square tubing is going to sit was going up to join up the roof and the uh, tops of uh, drill bits I'm going to use so here's the metal plate uh, five millimeters thick and it's a huge plate and it's not easy to pick up I cut all that section out over there off the plate so this one I show you is my little template I use I'm just gonna go on top of here must be something like that it's 25 by 25 but I'm gonna this idea to give myself how it must look like so I'm gonna draw lines across like I have it on this piece of paper here and then I'll do from here to here five centimeters in each corner I draw all my lines across so I can get my center so I can work off my five centimeters from here to there, five to there, and so on. is done on the plates the hole will be drilled on this side of the line so I just marked my my spots where the actual drill bits gonna be that is just to make sure that first line is away is away from that point to that point five centimeters and the actual drill point will be in the middle so like this plate over here you see the little spots, I just drill this touch, but now I'm going to drill it deeper. So we drilling them all like this. And now I'll go bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh. Okay, we have started off with this little drill bit here. See a tiny little hole over there, and then we went to a little bit bigger size. So you drill them all this size and then you go, you drill everything this size and then you drill everything else this size you actually want with this drill bit. So this just make it very easy for the big drill bit to get this hole. So it's all three stages. You can probably be using a little bit bigger one over here but I just go with that one and it goes very easy through. But it's a bit tricky with the bigger one. Um, you have to drill in the one side first and then you have to turn the plate around and start drilling on the other side and then I also use this here I've seen somebody use it so I just use it as well so this is burn a hole and it makes it much easier so it also helps the drill bit not to get wear out too quickly
I had to go and buy another draw point, this middle one over here. Um, I'll show you guys earlier I was using that one, that one and that one. But I battle a little bit and the drill gets very hot. Um, even if I went and bought this one, but it did help me. It, it makes the job much quicker when I drill a slightly bigger from this one to here. That's a 9.5 millimeters. And then I went up to the 13 mils. So yeah. Um, it's just to make it easy for drill. So it did took a while. It was a bit difficult with the big one, even if I drill it a bit um, with this one over here, the 9.5. But I finish all of it. it. Took me like over an hour to do that. can see I've done all of them the size I want I've got to tell you guys this morning the purpose of these square um, with these four holes in with this plates I, I I've done this morning you see the thickness and the 25 by 25 a bit bigger a little bit bigger than that that's going to be used in the foundation where um, the square tubing is going to come out in the middle and the center up and then this is going to be welded and use this little bar as ex example it's going to be welded on there there's not the right size let's see if we can get a nice angle see over there that's where it's going to be walled on there and then this ball will sit in the bottom. Morning guys. Yesterday I made a mistake. I drill uh, four holes exactly in line with each other. And it meant to be two of them in the outside and then two in the inside. Because that's what the engineer wants. He wants those two bars in the inside running that direction to the right. And these ones will run to the left. So I have drill new holes. And I put this round bar in. And I close the holes from the other side. This is how it meant to look. Two in the outside and two in the inside. So those two balls this way, like I said, and those two go on the outside. This is the view of the first part of the house. It's better than your own things. Cut your own grass, do everything yourself. Don't ask anyone or anyone offer you to, to help you to say no. There's always issues and stories later to say I've done this for you and I've done that for you. Meantime, they haven't. They have only done a little bit for you compared to what you have done for them. So it's better to your own stuff. Rather pay somebody to to help you. The best thing is actually just to do your own thing. Even if it takes you 10 times longer to do something, do it. That's why we need you guys to support us, um, subscribe. We can't do it without you guys. So we want to thank you guys for each and every one who take time to watch our videos and the process what we're doing. I have to cut all this grass all around me with a brush cutter. And that takes time and six hours what I spent today at it really fast but the grass wasn't too long and sometimes when you leave it 
it can even take three days to a week especially if you have to leave it for, for six weeks and then you're killing yourself Okay, let me sort of, um, what I'm doing here is these uh, eight metal plates I've used four different type of drill bits to get the size I want um, 13 millimeters where this bar meant to just slot in there because this is a 12.7 but unfortunately it doesn't fit in so I went back and I had a look for getting a bigger size, a 16 mils um, it doesn't, they don't sell it so um, I have to now make a plan using this disc over here and then clean it all around over here on the edges like this, like this one over here to get the roughness off and then that one will fit in nicely over there like it does here then I'll weld it in so it's from that this to get it in. That's where my square tubing will sit here in the middle with the welders in this square here like that in the middle and you'll have two bars will go this way one there another one here going in that direction the point will point to the right and then the point or point to the left that goes to the inner one that goes over there and the next one goes over there so they the two bars will pass each other and i made a mistake before drilling holes all four in a square because i was thinking i'm doing a different plate so i had to cut a piece of bar put a bar in here weld it first both sides and then cut it off so it closes to make that area stronger so if this earth quakes it doesn't break it up um, and these plates are very thick they're like a six mil or five mil plate that fits in the holes uh, two of the outside ones will show to your left and then I'll have another two of these bars to show in the opposite direction point to my right and all I'm going to do is just to keep it there because I have to weld with it so basically it will sit like this I weld one and I'll show you guys. plate looks like in the front and then from the side and the left those two balls showing in that your direction and when I turn it the other two balls it's on the inside of these two balls the point to the inside and then the bottom it looks like this
last. I finish with the last one. I tell him. I'll bend these yokes still straight. There's above you. And that's the bottom. And this is your side view.